bad news for the world. It's time for sus. The first step is creating patient zero. They will unknowingly make everyone sus. And everyone knows the most sus people of all are the Italians. <laughs> Otherwise known as Suschetti in today's world. We have our first infected person. So it begins. The Norax worm emerges. So Cytus is a Norax worm undiscovered for thousands of years. Now humans have entered its natural habitat and given it the means to spread. And I really couldn't be more excited about that. We've already infected two people. We've doubled our numbers. I like how all the countries have fun new names like Sustralia and United Sus. Or how about a Mungentina? We've already infected 10 whole people. We're in the double digits now. Poor Suschetti has no idea what it's going through. So I think for transmission, we're going to give it sussy eggs. Produces an eggs that are ejected from the host brains in the thousands, increasing infectiousness. That's going to increase what's already very infective without increasing its severity too much. And then I think we're also going to do genetic swap. Among Us does some sussy stuff inside host body, increasing chance of mutation. Perfect. And then for symptoms, we're going to give it venting. Among Us has vented into the host brain, giving it the ability to transform the mind and body. That's more infectious, but not at all more severe somehow. So let's just sit back for a minute and watch your numbers go up. We made it a lot more infectious, so it's going to start getting around. No one has yet died from our disease, but it's only a matter of time with 60 people infected. So we're also going to give them hyperfixation. Host begins thinking about Among Us a lot more, increasing the control it has on the brain. And then for the next three points, we're going to get something called Oh God. Among Us as a concept becomes sentient. It can manipulate the host. And then we're going to give that insect transmission. Causes increased infectiousness, especially in hot climates. I'm pretty sure Suschetti is in the middle of a hot area, so that should help it spread around a little bit more. Suscitus has infected hundreds of people by now, and no one's aware yet. 600 people, 700 people, we're getting 100 people per tick. We're into the thousands now, we're getting well over many hundreds per tick and lots of points to spend. Now we're going to add Susplanes 1. Manipulation of dopamine transporters result in a form of ADHD, which encourage hosts to fly to a target country. Good, they're going to get on planes and spread this thing all over. Then we're going to give a Texas form, which makes it able to withstand hot climates. And I guess while we're at it, Polis one, which uh, makes it uh, good in cold climates as well. Suscitus has infected cells thousands in Suschetti, and it's going to spread up and down from there. It's cold up top and warm down below. We haven't even covered all of Italy yet, we're already getting so many points. The world has no idea what it's about to go through. Oh, people did it. They jumped on the plane. And they went to the Sussy Kingdom. And to the neighboring countries. And this disease is really starting to spread suddenly. We got suspicious dots showing up all over Europe. I kind of like this plane traveling idea. So we're going to uh, upgrade the plane ability even more. So they will jump on planes and spread this thing all over the place. This next one is very important. Brain smoothing. Among Us makes the brain smoother. Insults about Among Us will simply slide off the host's brain, reducing severity. So, there's always that, and that's going to help it spread around the world much quicker again. Ooh, pop the bubble, then click the country you want the people to travel to. We get to control them. Can we fly to Madagascar? It's only a seaport. Speaking of smooth brain things, does that work? Uh, we're going to land a plane <laughs> in a place where there's no airport, so that's definitely a smooth brain operation, but we did it. That kind of makes it overpowered, because we can land this disease anywhere we want, including the places that are normally quite hard to get to. So I'm really sorry about that, Madamongus. Uh, okay, while we're at it, I guess we're also sending you to Greenland then, where you're going to crash the plane probably into the ice because there's no airports. Probably landed on a pile of polar bears. New minor diseases spreading. Uh, yeah, it's already affected 40 million people, so it's quite minor. Societis is just another parasite, they say. Well, we've already <laughs> sus Brazil. They couldn't come up with anything better than sus Brazil. Okay, we're also going to uh, Iceland then. Suschetti starts work on cure. Yeah, I don't blame them. They're 100% uh, infected at this point. Well, since they're working to cure anyway, let's get ejection one. Among Us can be ejected from the host for longer periods of time. And it's already spreading around quite quickly. The planes definitely help, but we got to keep an eye on that cure because it's very hard for us to counteract the cure with this one. The disease made it as far as Jamungus, though. That's the far side of the world. Okay, we're going to get the plane to hop from all the way up here. Let's hit Sus Zealand. I'm just trying to get the harder countries out of the way right away, and then we can just go on a rampage. But this is where it's really starting to spread around because we have 42 disease points. So we're going to make it stronger in wealthy uh, countries that can override their uh, health care. I'm also going to get Sussy Hardening. Uh, becomes harder to analyze in the lab. Decreases future research speed. 
This one definitely goes hand in hand with what we're doing. Immaturity. Host plays among us matches with randoms. They become true gamers and stop showering. Lower levels of hygiene increase infection. Yes. Memory loss mutated. Neuritic plaques deposited on gray matter significantly impact memory and learning. Host forgets they're even sussed. Very hard to cure. Perfect. We're basically turning the world into zombies. So far we've got like 5% of the world infected. Uh oh, they're already shutting down borders. So we're going to uh, get birds. That's going to increase land transmission. Hopefully get it traveling around a little bit easier. But as long as we've got these planes for now, we can land these planes wherever we want. And that's going to be trouble for all sorts of places. We've hit all the continents. So I don't know. I'm just going to apply this to the sesapines for now. I need it to be a little bit more infectious. Although it seems like it's getting around suddenly. Okay, we're going to do rodent. That's also just going to make it more infectious. We've infected 220 million people. We've still killed zero because we're keeping it very non-dangerous for now. But the cure just ticked up to 1%. We got another plane. For now, I'm probably going to send the planes to islands because uh, the boats might be shut down at some point. So for now, if we can just land planes over there, that's going to be good to just spread them to those hard to reach places. 52 disease points. Says the eggs too. Eggs hatch when they experience an increase in warmth, likely due to nearby human activity, greatly increasing infection. Dead body reported. Among Us is drawn to corpses, increasing infectivity when corpses are present. When people start dying especially, that's gonna help. We haven't had any deaths yet, but it's only a matter of time. Imagine all the dead body reports we're gonna get. We still got 51 points to spend. I need to pay attention to these. Uh, the Cruibian, Cru, uh, <laughs> Cruibian in particular is gonna be hard to reach. Societus has been placed on a watch list. Okay, and we're gonna land a plane there and spread this thing. Okay, so now there's only four countries that are uh, without this thing, and that's soon to be three because we're about to land a plane of this stuff. West Africa just got a, a hearty case of the Among Us plague, so that should spread throughout Africa. We got the corners of Africa done. Among Us gets its own scientists, slowing down lab research speed. That's important. They're working on a cure and they're actually getting there. More work time needed to develop a cure. That's 18 points, but that's going to knock them from 7% down to 7%. It might have been higher than that, but things are going slower now. So Marakagus and Algerisus are the last two, so let's go ahead and fly the plane to one of those two. Once a disease lands, it really starts to get around. Saudi Arabia leading global cure effort. Well, I think the wealthy countries are still fighting back against it reasonably well. So let's increase its uh, power in wealthy countries, but then we're also going to evolve it so it's going to go bananas. Mania. Among Us leads to mania. Manic episodes lead to increased contact with others and inability to focus on tasks. That makes it very infectious and very severe. Then we can get imposters for 15 points. Hosts become imposters, making them incredibly violent toward others. They also try to sabotage everything around them. That's going to put the lethality up. And then we're going to get sussy insanity. Drives the host insane. They see it everywhere. Can be fatal. That's going to double the uh, lethality again. Plus infectivity and severity. So now we're probably going to start to see the death toll rise. Yep, we're suddenly jumping up to 30,000, 50,000 dead per tick. Framungus begins to break down. I think that's France in the real world. I'm not sure they've declared that name officially yet. Algiris has actually got very few people infected, so we might have to do something about that. Can we just land another plane there? Okay, I'm going to add the uh, Texas Among Us so that Algiris has can uh, get around, spread it a little bit better. And then we're going to get Obsession. Severe damage to orbital cortex triggers OCD, forces host to obsess over a specific Among Us related task. I'm just looking for anything that's going to be more, more lethal. A lot of these make it very uh, infectious and severe, but not a lot of them are super dangerous yet. Shapeshifters though. Shapeshifter imposter cause an increased chance of mutation. That's also going to be important because if this thing can just go on its own, all the better. Because the world is working pretty hard on that cure. Uh, there are a lot of people infected. The dead are starting to add up. We've got 60 million already gone. But the mutations are already going. Mutated and developed persistive jolt. Increases brain pressure resulting in fever which disrupts host tasks and decision making. And we're turning to drugs, Among Us Cocaine. Host does Among Us Cocaine, severely disrupting host risk reward analysis, resulting in risky, unsafe, and impulsive decisions. Very slightly lethal. Also, I'm going to uh, reduce the time needed for a cure one more time. Just to be sure, now that they have some uh, synthetic energy, they're maybe going to be working extra hard to get this cure accomplished. Ooh, we get to fly another plane. Go to that one. Central Africa really needs some help getting infected. Now is also the problem though, if I kill people, too quickly, I won't be able to spread the infection anymore. Wow, that cure is really going for it. We need to start killing more people quickly. The whole world is really pretty well infected at this point. There is no healthy people left in the world. They're all gone sus. Plane, go to Canada. 
Electrical. Doing tasks in electrical causes mild seizures, which completely scramble host decision making. Yes. That one added some lethality for sure, so that's gonna start to unlock the numbers down. Sesophrenia symptom mutated. Inflamed cess receptors fragment mental processes, increase infectivity, can cause fatal fevers. I hope so. The world is 36% of the way down a cure, but there's all sorts of things. From among us in is, is an anarchy. It's a race against time now. We've killed 1 billion people though. The cure is 40% done, so I'm feeling pretty good about this. This is what happens if you don't stop among us. It just keeps going and going. Okay, we're gonna add hallucinations to the mix. That should be a good one. Now we can just sit back and relax and let the world destroy itself. We didn't have to do any of this. We could have just introduced Among Us to everything and it would have been the end of everything. But we unleashed it in Susketi and off it took. What else do we need for symptoms? Devotion. 29. Hosts have an increased love for Among Us and want to be sus. Eyes grow glossy and begin to merge. Arms are completely gone. Feet are nubs. Hosts have only one bone. They become Among Us. <laughs> there it is. The full sus transformation. Human is completely transformed into, into an Among Us character. Win condition. 50 DNA points, it's also fairly lethal. So we just need 50 points, hopefully before the rest of the world dies. Otherwise we're just gonna have a bunch of dead imposters and no one to report them. Which kind of defeats the whole point of what we're doing. I'm just sending the plane around randomly at this point because I don't know what else to do with it. It is nice that it's still allowed to fly despite the fact that airports are definitely closed. But I guess for a plane that can take off and land anywhere, adoration has evolved. Hosts want everyone around them to turn sus, they become shorter and their arms shrink. That's perfect. That's just what we need. Even if they're not fully among us right now, they're close. They're definitely like halfway there in some kind of weird hybrid human among us module. Nuclear explosion in Germamongus. That was probably someone doing electrical tasks and they just did it really, really wrong. There's only uh, 7 million people left alive in Germany right now and there are about 100 million dead, so it's in rough shape. They're still working very hard on their cure. They're 50% of the way there. We've officially killed 6.5 billion people with Among Us disease. There's only 500 million left alive, so I think you know what that means. We're going to create 500 million imposters. Imagine that world. 500 million of these little guys running around. That would be absolutely beautiful. So now we get to sit back and relax and let the world fall apart. 500 million suspicious. Uh, Societus enslaves humanity. The whole world worships Societus as their god and master. Efforts to cure the plague have ceased and humanity is entering a dark new future as slave species. Aye, there are no humans left. They're all imposters. Everyone is a sus now. So this really did go 0 to 100. It was cruising along without much problem at all and then straight up everyone's turned into an imposter.